practice we didn't practice them so i would like to see how do they play so yeah i want to i want to face virtus pro all right, well, Guardian, thank you so much. Congratulations again on your two matches so far today. By the way, everybody, before we head back over to the desk, Guardian, you just joined Twitter, right? Do you want to quickly plug your <laughs> Do you want to quickly plug your Twitter? It's official CSGO. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. So hit Guardian up. He just joined Twitter. Give him a warm reception there. We will head Guardian CSGO, not official. Yeah, Guardian CSGO. Go follow him. He's new there. Give him a warm reception. We're now going to head over back to the back up, but he's also the only one with a grenade. So FNX going to peek the corner real quick there. Try and just divert their attention. Pop flash goes out. Actually, oh, he flashes himself and might kill it. It turns a 180. FNX on the corner. Sprays. Phase, they're looking for doors, and that's the key thing. I mean, Paul <laughs> Flash just mad. Dude, that would have been dope. Yes, Rain. I see what go you're doing. Go for the 360. Go for the 360. Let's go. Coming up here, LG playing on the CT side. If they win this round, it'll be huge, but Pimp starting off. He's not dead yet. Knife is out for... Oh, he's not going to get it. Pimp actually picks up the USP and drops for Fallen with a kill. Yeah, buddy system being employed pretty effectively right now. Guardian is waiting for any main aggression here. He could find himself in a difficult position there. This is actually pretty audacious for him. I'm not... Oh, hello? Oh. Are we timed out? Uh, no, we're timed definitely out. Definitely not. Say, <laughs> no, he being 9-5, and look at Rain charging in here. Max 7 hand turns okay. around, gets the kill on Guardian, seems to go down as well, and Rain, he's coming back for more. Oh, he actually drops an AWP on. Oh, it's a leg shot. He's not going to get it, Rain. That would have been the perfect opportunity, and now it's pretty far removed from this round. Just got the Desert Eagle towards Connector. Bomb will be planted, and that will be all she wrote for this round. 5-0 in favor of Redis Pro. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> awkward. We're going towards short there, WP. No, he did be smoked out from the window. We get a replay here of Pasha missing the shot. What did he miss? Well, I guess it was just off his butt there. He took the vision away, and other scout to jump up and tag him and get the second shot, pick up that first kill as well. Right, but it'd be an insane clutch to try and pull through with 20 seconds now as well. I'm not sure I could see it happen. I think maybe Michael Illich is thinking about running down the clock here. Yeah, oh, he catches falling off guard here. Wow. Look at this, Fallen is going to have no idea. What? He saw it. Wow, <laughs> Fallen. <laughs> that must have been a pixel, right? That's so uh, unfortunate. It's like a one-way smoke you can put down, but everybody's seen it so many times that maybe it has become just a tad too predictable. Well, once you see it, look at Body again in the corner, there. please. What well, is up with this? They can't boost against him now, Anders. But look at this. Wow, Taco. Oh. Oh, no. What is this? Ah! Oh, it's chaos! Oh, they even kill each other, Fallen taking down Fur. That is definitely chaos, but somehow... Freeze picks up the shot, and he goes down to FNX now. Hiding in the corner is Fur. USB in hand, he comes out of the smoke, takes down one, and even gets the AK to that. The smoke is about to clear. They're going to start to put down some serious firepower onto the box. And Config just jumps across, only loses 26 HP, could both go back in for seconds. That's... Will they expect him to push the smoke, though? This would be so ballsy, and he's going to do it as well. He's running into players left, right, and center. Oh, that's the headshot on Taz. He must be like, you what, mate? What just happened there? However, the trade does come out. Scout on the 5-7 to work, but probably want to be upgrading to an AK-47. And this kill is going to mean everything if Pasha can find Chris J for the smoke here. Bomb has been planted. And Pasha just biding his time, waiting like a coil bite for two cracks for him. And a third as well. Beautiful spray. Can Waiting for the CTs to push him. He goes for the peak. He's not going to get anything done. Oh, actually, he gets himself a double. No, he doesn't. Dennis got the team kill just beforehand. 2v3 now. KJB's in a good position on jungle. And this funnels the counter terrorist into a bottleneck, but next somehow gets the upper hand. Here comes Carrigan, and he's going to switch across to the M4. This is looking oh! great. And the Charlotte's get the clutch and keep themselves in the. Three players still alive, all towards uh, Bombsteray now, and there it is. Zeus should seal the deal there. Just going to be Michael Ellie remaining. He has got the aforementioned Molotov here, and it's going to come right now. Will it be enough? Well, they don't have a kit, so they can't just hold it down. This Molotov's going to buy a significant amount of time. They also know where Michael Ellie is. They're going to have to try and go for him here. That Molotov's still burning inside. Michael Ellie wins the first fight against Zeus. They don't have a kit. They might not have time. Michael Ellie goes for it. He wins the one, but he sprays him down. Michael Ellie picking up a triple kill, and Faye's going to bring it to eight rounds. Oh, time. The bomb's over on A has just been planted. Nice open plant as well. So the problem is for Dignitas, they have got two players in the same area. Decide to go for the boost here. With the smoke's going down currently, that's actually really w well played from them. They take down Neo, leaving Bialy in a difficult situation. He takes down Convict though. And this is such a huge round for both teams. You see Tensky trying to wrap his way around through that smoke. He's going to do it as well and finds the kill onto Bialy. Dignitas now are on the brink. 
A terrible economy again. Or have I spoke too soon? Kirby's gonna go for the fuse. Works. That works. Taz isn't in the position to stop this for oh! one second. Oh, he just about gets the defuse, I believe. Yes, he did. 5-1, ding the Taz. Of a little bit of a miracle there. The plant not really working out. I was about to say, however, Bjarli is still in this round. He's not quite dead and buried just yet. Not yet. He's towards that balcony area. No kid to play with, but it might not matter as it comes down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Just going to be Tenski remaining now. He's towards long eight. With the upper hand of this clutch, Bjarli seems to have no idea where he is. And no kit as well, so... Waiting for the face to come in. Tenski's jumping over the fence there. Does get vision. Does huge amount of damage there through the fence. And that should be the round tied up here, or is it somehow? Bialy steps up and goes absolutely huge just when VP needed it. That's massive. Four HP. All Bialy had, uh, all they had to do was land one bullet there. Well, gonna get 13 frags. Like, how did that happen? And you talked about whether or not they go for like, the limited grenades. This is going to be an explosive play out of their arms, and this is really bad. Oh, Taco, even halfway falling asleep there for getting a kill. Taco gets another one, and it actually works out. Did it seem to you like he was sleeping then? Archman is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a good crossfire. It's hard for them to punish Fur in the corner. Yeah, there's... I guess this is the tactical timeout coming in from Luminosity. Well, it's like he's got a good idea of uh, where this man's going to be peeking from. Just the timing. The timing couldn't have been worse. And Michael Lely, though. Unfortunately, Fallen has a bit too much, a bit too much HP. Oh well. Nice nade. Yeah, down to seven. How did it do so much damage? That did way too much, actually. Yeah, I think that there is a bug that actually makes it go through armor. Maybe that was it. Mike Hillary tapping the bomb once. Fallen wants to go and look for it. He's going to win that fight. Snacks. He's back on the orb now. Once again, Bialy. This is going to be going out towards Long behind the blue bin. There. He's in a difficult position though. Snacks gets picked up afterwards. VP just haven't shown up in this oh, game so oh, far. Oh. Make that another frag. This time it's Pasha who eats another grenade. That combo. Molotov and a grenade on your head. Snacks. This is it. Right. 1v5 revolver clutch. Let's go. <laughs> oh, what is this weapon? Oh, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so not, I've never seen it. Uh, oh, the triple oh. boost. The infamous. SK did this in an online match as well and actually won the round, I think, because of it. So two with that bomb ticking in front of Taco. Glock in hand, looking to get the shot for the smoke. Can they find it? Knife is out. Oh, no, Pim can stab by Fur, who escapes through the smoke, and he's back with the Glock. Tab the bomb again. Freeze is trying to make it up. They're not finding each other. This is a ridiculous pistol round. Finally, Freeze with the shot. Now, I think there might just have been enough time for the defuse here. SK, they get to live another day. Nine stuff afterwards, you know. <laughs> Could have been all just uh, planned. Oh, okay. Oh, Good instead, right? So it's like that's uh, that's I think one of the one of the interesting ones for. Oh my god. Oh, those lights though. Oh yeah. Just can't. With this kind of result, it, it does show you a little bit that nothing is that predictable. Nico's Deagle again rips on out. It's on Neo. One tap, two taps there from him. He's looking. They lose that round. They are up the creek without battle. And there's Nico just goes straight in. This is a stack on B, but Nico. But is he going to put any more bullets to face? His Dupree also comes in the wall bank from Cajun B. He's able to lock this down. I say that, but Dennis actually comes through. Here comes the vice. Two frags. He did spot the first player. Just kept his finger on the trigger. And there we go. He Burst should be coming in from Asports any second. Here it is. Vice using that angle to perfection to make that three frags. It's pretty much a, an eco bash. Now we're seeing a little bit of a change of pace here from Asports. Sending two players towards middle. Device does take down Dennis. Finally, for once, it seems like they are getting the man advantage. He face towards Palace there. As Nika trying to get the refrag, but Device, huge kill there. Risk of getting backstabbed here. All right, and that's exactly what's happening. FNX, he gets a kill, but now he's on the slope instead, trying to see if he can make it back. He actually does a lot of damage. He gets the quad kill, and that is going to be huge, obviously. Might have just been Navi looked like they're heading towards that area pretty quickly as well. Oh, nice start from Ace. It is a good headshot. Goes for a second and shuts down Guardian. A lot of damage has been put onto Zeus as well. Any minute he's going to get grenaded to death as well. Ace, he just wrecking them. It's going to be a quad kill now. Actually, Rain, I think, stole one of them in the meantime, and Seas goes down. What a be your extra shot. All the phase are out in this A courtyard. Edward missing more shots. He hits a headshot though on Rain and goes for a bit more. Does the damage. Edward picking up the kill on. It's going to be config remaining in the 4 on 1. 
Good luck to you, sir. Yes, indeed. It's actually, as I mentioned before, to be breaking the economy of oh, CTs, hello. but we're not done just yet. Apparently, a double headshot. VP have got three rifles themselves. And the first shot comes in. Oh, my God. Biali, take a chair. Very fast after coming in from Dick, straight towards the A-side. Oh, Snacks could be in for a bunch of frags. Taz is there, however, and still using that smoke to his advantage. Goes back in for seconds. And Fortune will favour the Brave on this occasion. MSL, VP, Cloud second best. Much better from Dignitas, but Neo is still alive. Still has a minute to play with. Can he get the drop on Config? Yes, he can. And he lands the frag as well. That flashbang connects, but not in enough time. Oh, oh Neo with another one to Kirby. Beautiful headshot. Once again. Against Mintel, there's the first frag. They try to make it happen towards Palace. Kiabi, though, with the double headshot of the Desert Eagle out of nowhere, who makes those kills and gives Dignitas a real chance in the final round of the half here. And he said someone's gonna have to step up and try something, and Kiabi has done just that. MSL is in command from Connector, the second frag through the smoke.